Bob Harper, you are the national spokesperson for the 2010 Walk for Farm Animals for Farm Sanctuary. How did you find out about Farm Sanctuary? Well, I got to tell you, when I was first approached um, about Farm Sanctuary, I was very, very excited. I, uh, I knew that this was going to be a movement that I wanted to be a part of. You recently went vegan. How did that whole transition happen? It was actually pretty seamless. I, I do too much reading, first of all. <laughs> and uh, I was on vacation a couple of years ago, and uh, a friend of mine gave me a book, uh, Skinny Bitch. That started the ball rolling, but it wasn't until I read uh, T. Colin Campbell's uh, The China Study that it absolutely changed my life. And bringing in the connection of you are what you eat, that, that old adage of what our mothers have always taught us, it just started to make even more sense. How has your life changed since you went vegan? Well, it's interesting because uh, one thing that I've uh, really been able to do is talk to so many people about what they eat and their, um, their diet, for lack of a better word. And uh, it's just been, it's been so life-changing for me because I've worked with such overweight Americans for such a long time and it's, it's about a stepping process. And uh, every day is a step because I get these uh, people that I've worked with before that are saying to me, what, are you gonna just like take out all my meat and dairy? And I wanna say yes immediately, but uh, <laughs> I know that it's like, it's, it's getting them to um, take these steps. So it's a, it's a process for all of us and all the people that I work with, but uh, I just get very excited about uh, the platform that I've been given and the information that I have to give out. And it's not just about giving things up, it's also about being exposed to new foods. What's some of your favorite new vegan food? Well, Tal Ronan is my hero now. Uh, Tal Ronan and uh, Rip Esselstyn. Uh, I love the, uh, the Engine 2 diet. Yeah. Uh, he has a, a vegan lasagna that is out mm -hmm. of this world. I still love just like my old, like, Black beans, quinoa, I mean, the, the basics, and uh, being able to get really creative with all the vegetables that are out there for me. And kale, I mean, it's like, I think I, I, I live on kale. What do you think are the most misunderstood nutrition myths? You're not getting enough protein. What about your B? What about your calcium, your D? I've had to really do my homework because my work is all about um, informing people and giving them the right information. and. Uh, one thing that I've really realized is, yes, our bodies absolutely need protein, but we don't need as much protein as all these, uh, all these websites out there tell us, uh, tell us that we do. So, and there's definitely ways to get all your nutrients living a plant-based diet. You grew up on a farm in Tennessee. Um, what's your favorite farm animal? I grew up on a cattle farm, and so we had, I grew up with cows. I remember, I, I remember being a kid with uh, these, big, huge uh, bottles to feed the little calves that were in our, uh, in our barn. And uh, so I really like cows. <laughs> I don't want to eat them, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, how has that shaped the way that you view farm animals now? I grew up on this cattle farm, and it, to me, it was just the way of life. But now knowing the information that I have, the demand that uh, these factory farms have to meet, uh, that's the one thing that drives me nuts. That's the one thing that really pains me. It's like these, these factory farms that, that are just treating these animals like they're a light fixture. They're not, they're not real. I see these animals that have emotions, that are afraid, that are happy. It's like, like people, people tend to forget about that. And that's the one thing that uh, just, it, 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 it scares me when I think about the, the kill floor in, um, in, in a, a slaughterhouse and what goes, on, what goes on in these places. And it just, like, it, when, when I started getting more and more informed with farm animals and how they were treated, it just, it made me just feel like I needed to do whatever part that I could do. Why is Farm Sanctuary the organization that you've chosen to support? Well, it just all makes sense to me, especially like the lifestyle that I live right now, uh, my history where I've grown up. When uh, me being able to be a part of Farm, farm Sanctuary is, is something that I almost have like a badge of honor. It's like, of course, I want to be able to talk about what, um, what I know and um, be a part of an organization that uh, I believe so wholeheartedly in. How can people make a difference for farm animals in their lives? I think that they need to get involved. I think that they need to get informed. I think that they need to get their voices heard. I think that, to me, that is the number one um, step. We all, one thing that I tell people all the time uh, when it comes to 
going to the grocery store. When you go to the grocery store, it's, it's like you're making a vote. It, everything that you get is a vote. So when you decide you're not going to buy these foods, for instance, that are filled with hormones and antibiotics, and, and we, 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 know, we know now that there are these studies out that say girls that are um, becoming older at such a young age, and I, I think it's all about the foods that you're eating, and I think that you've got to get informed. You've got to know what's going on out there because we, we can no longer have blinders on. We can no longer just think, okay, well, it doesn't affect me because it affects us all. You think about the environment. You think about the methane that's like um, creating uh, the, this havoc on our earth, and these factory farms are a huge, huge part of that. Why do you think the walk for farm animals is important? I think that again, it's just it's it's getting people to think. It's getting people uh, out there with this movement, with farm sanctuary, this the the walk that's out there. And all of a sudden, it, if it gets if it just gets some people thinking and going, oh, well, let me check out let me check out their website. Let me pick up a book on what's going on. Uh, let me <laughs> let me watch Food Inc. You know, it's like it, it it just I think that conversation sparks change. The walk for farm animals also gets people up and moving and exercising, and that's something that, that I'm all about. Yeah. <laughs> I think that uh, any time that you can get someone off the sofa, that's how I kind of live my life, trying to show people that you can get a workout in by not going to the gym. You could just go on a walk, and and that's why that's another part that I really love about um, the walk for farm uh, farm animals. It's just it's just everything that I'm about. Well, thank you so much for showing your compassion and being the 2010 national spokesperson for Farm Sanctuary's Walk for Farm Animals. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.